Hey everyone, this is Bob. Give you a look at my very messy living room table. Real life here. I want to remind everyone, um, because I'm thinking about it, that your journey, your fragrance journey, is not going to be in a straight line all the time, going up to the right. You know on the scale most of the times and especially in the beginning it is but um, right now we're kind of in a, a lull in general well I'll only speak for myself I know I am because and I knew I was gonna be in this position because my my collection is done for now last year I mentioned it multiple times and um, you know some life changes have happened um, last year and stuff like that and you can just imagine what might have and there might be reasons you know your interest it goes up and down but uh, in the long term kind of keep your head up um, is what I'm saying it's gonna go up and down like a sine wave it's a journey it's gonna go flat go around the sides um, could be financial you know that's probably the biggest reason or family matters a mess uh, work matters and stuff like that so keep your spirits kind of in long term steady mode you know, as things can change. And um, you can be acquiring, you can be selling, you can be static. But just realize that anything worthwhile in life, whether it be a relationship, a marriage, or work, or friendship, it, it's going to come with risks and it's not going to be easy. See, anything worthwhile is not going to be easy, is my point. And I wanted to remind everyone of that I gotta clean all this up so um, yeah for me I will acquire uh, a few more bottles that I that are on my list but I haven't gotten them yet because you know the, the, the money is going to other places that, uh, right now other than that and you can imagine you know you know they're probably going to bills and, uh, and existing so that's why I started selling stuff at the uh, mid and then last year and the end of last year. I want to pick up some because, you know, for instance, this one is the third one from uh, Eugene's Les Abstraits. And I have a, a bottle of the first one that I purchased. I would have nothing else. Uh, I would definitely want the first one. But the second one is, which is called Bellam, is the one I probably like the best. And I haven't gotten a bottle of it, so, so that's on my list to get. And I'll, I'll be very satisfied when I do get it, you know. Sometimes you gotta wait. Um, I just put on my scent of the day, and it's this one. It's Tom Compurial, and I'll, I'll touch on this. And that's what I wore yesterday, the Fev. The day before the, that was uh, the Cherry low medial there's a reason why this is all coming like this because three days ago i did my full first wearing of um this is the decant of uh desandres or desand which is the third one and this stuff just it took a while for me to actually build up the will to wear it first fully I, I wore it like two times on my uh, hand and stuff like that to get an idea. But after that, I knew this is different for me. This is very challenging for me. This is going to take some knowledge and understanding uh, to get with. And the other day, I did wear it. And it. it the outcome was good. 
even though the stuff is not in my wheelhouse and neither is polo green and there is polo green influence that can be interpreted from that i didn't come up with that um eugene mentioned polo green in the live stream and i agree with him the other fragrances mentioned i don't know and i remember polo green from college and the guy who wore it all the time i know he was going out downtown when i smelled that so i wore it and it what it turned out to be better than I thought. This is what I'm wearing now. Sorry about the noise. This is live TV. It's a decant of the third Los Abstrates. And this has to do with all these three here. So just bear with me a couple more minutes. I'll try to make this fast. This stuff not only knocked my socks off in terms of like a total different uh, experience, but it, 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 beat, it, it beat the living hell out of me. It punched me around. And I went for my uh, walk, a little urban hiking, about four and a half miles, and I built up a sweat. And then this stuff came roaring to life again with the heat and the moisture it was literally like getting punched in the face a couple of times and say hey wake up smelling salts or being in a hockey fight or something <laughs> i can see wearing this after i wake up putting this on and then going to the rink to play a game that that afternoon or that night in hockey and um roughing it up a bit smells like burning logs in a bonfire uh, that are painted and covered with polo green resin, o OG, that kind of thing. Uh, I guess I get some leather in here, but kind of over my head in terms of ch challenge, challenging uh, topic to wear. But as I was walking and finishing my exercise, and I, I know I had a massive bubble around me, and I know people from 20 feet away in my wake or smelling something pretty strong and wondering what that is. It is masculine. I mean, I don't think, <laughs> yeah, I'm not masculine enough to, to be donning this stuff right now. Um, 70s, 80s, hairy chest, that kind of thing. Anybody into uh, niche perfumery and polo um, and that kind of genre, this is a must try, in my opinion. It, uh, it's really interesting. And like I said, it, it beat me up. So I like, after wearing it, I ended up liking it better than when, you know, when I first got it. And, I had to keep it in its own room and in its own Ziploc bag, literally, because see now I'm got I just sprayed uh, Tonkin Puriel and I have that on me, but now I'm getting uh, I'm getting more of this. Actually, it kind of seeped out on my hand here, so this is on me now. It's 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 pretty damn strong. It's it's definitely a, a phoenix rising out of the embers and it's flapping its wings. It, we're not talking calm here anymore or uh, being uh, sad. This, in a nutshell, is uh, I'm here. The phoenix is here and uh, take me as I am. If you don't like me, step aside. And you know, I got, I got all the love for everyone. And um, here I am, take it or leave it kind of thing and he's flapping his wings. And then as a result, there is huge wind gusts. And that's, that, that's what I felt like. So it was satisfying. I remember writing a comment. I think it was on, I think it was on a video that Crystal, Christo was doing in it. And he was talking about Eugene 
And I remember seeing a comment that kind of disturbed me a little bit and then I, I had to jump in and uh, say my piece. And um, I remember writing the word Phoenix. I, I said, uh, Eugene is definitely a Phoenix rising from the ashes. And I remember writing that. And now that's what I get with uh, this fragrance. Um, piney, tarry. Embers, flames, smoke. I don't get the calmness of the church or a church in the woods. Not yet. Maybe I will. But I get uh, <clears throat> I get some action. Like I said, this is like all right. I'm I'm resurrected. I'm born. This is me, kind of thing. So. I wore that, I sweated in it, heated up. It was nice, it was different, challenging for me. And then the next day, I, I was so, like I said, I was so slapped around. I'm just being hyperbolic here, okay? I was so slapped around. I can't touch any of this because it's gonna smell like that fragrance. I'm gonna use my right hand. <coughs> that I needed to run home to daddy the next day for some comfort. So, and cherry was on my mind and I was craving it. And I knew I wanted this fragrance specifically. All right, after this song, and I wore that and I had a good wearing. And then yesterday came around and I'm still on this kick where I want something comforting, something that I love, and kind of like cherry. And I went with Fev. I think this is my third time wearing it this winter. You know, I would wear it more if I had a 250 mil. Yesterday I wore this and applied more than I should have, which was fine. And I visited my friend who I helped take care of or just to be a friend. And she immediately said, whoa, you smell good. I always comment about her. And she said it twice. I said, whoa, you really smell good. So I said, she never gets any single notes. I go, do you get cherry? Do you get praline? Do you know what tonka bean is? She knows flowers. So I go, do you know what freesia is? And she goes, no. So people have a hard time describing it, but they know they like it. And that was the first time her Maybe it was, maybe I've never worn Fev in front of her, but she likes Andre Nui, meets uh, Tonkin Imperial. She didn't like Queer Beluga. I don't think she said anything about uh, Angie Black. And then, this is a beast. You don't need to spray much and it lasts long and get some on your shirt. It'll last days and days. And the whole day and the night, I got whiffs of Fev and I love it. I just love Fev. I just continue to love it more and more every year. And then today, I'm not finished. I'm still on this kick of, uh, I just wanted to stay. This is not cherry, but it's, uh, <clears throat> it's a Tonka, Tonka vanilla tobacco. I love the tobacco in here. And I went with uh, Tonka Imperial because Another reason is I'm gonna, I'm comparing my wafts today to yesterday's fev, right? Because these are just, they're just killers and they're always mentioned in, in the same paragraph. So I think as a result of Eugene's third juice, this really oily resinous stuff, I went to these three um, to normalize myself. <laughs> God, I got it on my fingers now. It must be leaking somewhere. The at the realist, he sent me this. He says, it's gonna knock your socks off. I think it's outrageous, and I agree, it's outrageous. It's not my kind of genre or jam, but I, I, I love it because it's really powerful and it's from him. So, and God willing, and when my, when my uh, accounts let me, 
I'll get a bottle of that one because I can't just get two bottles. I'm gonna, I have to have three, even if my collection is finished. So, damn, this is running long. I wanted to show you my, my messy desk here. Um, I gotta put these away. Here are my garlands. And here are my prize garlands right there. And I wanted to mention also to everyone to keep their keep their chin up, chin up, as the British do, and and uh, things are kind of rough, uh, you know, in the global sphere right now, uh, in regards to certain things, and they are for me, but uh, I'm I use this as a crutch and to help me, and uh, I'm never going to turn away from it. If you're feeling kind of low in your journey, don't worry. Don't worry. Um, it's a zigzag. And things don't always go in a straight line pattern with a happy face on them. So that's me point. stuff is a punch in the face man it really is knock your socks off uh, I don't yeah maybe I think I'll name this video I'm not man enough <laughs> but it reminds me of uh, maybe uh, having all my equipment on playing hockey and there was a couple of seasons uh, I'm not a big strong guy I never was but I, I was a, a pretty good skater at some point when I was young and when you can skate well, you everything follows, right? You can check well, you can hit a guy into the boards well when you can skate. And there was a couple of seasons when I was, you know, young, junior high school to high school that uh, I put some people in their place because when they were like being a little uh, cheating on some of our players or some of our good players, I would uh, kind of let them make them pay for it. And then the coach saw me as that, and uh, people were kind of reacting when I would uh, cleanly check them on their on their ass or into the boards. I remember that. And I always, if someone got picked on or bullied or cheated on, whatever I could do, I would I would try to kind of make that guy know that he shouldn't be doing that. And uh, yeah, smelling this we would want to uh, make me knock the lights out of someone who's uh, who's an idiot uh, in the game, that kind of thing. That's what I'm thinking. But uh, yeah, it's in your face. It's outrageous. So I recommend everyone who's a fan of that kind of perfume, like Polo or Grey Flannel, or they mentioned um, an Aramis, the Devon, to get a sample of that and the quality and the strength and everyone who's a niche collector to, to with no without doubts get a sample of that Dessange and, and uh, see for yourself um, what a contemporary mind with uh, all the history of perfumery of quality perfumery perfumery can do right now um, with uh, a lot of sweat and passion so that's what I'm getting so far. I'm gonna wear it again, and we'll see afterwards. Maybe I'll have to like I'll have a huge thirst for uh, for my comfort frag right afterwards again. So there's my point. That's my honest happenings. Um, it had an effect on me days later. Like I said, it, I have to keep that in a plastic Ziploc in another room because I smell it. And if I put on, if I'm smelling other stuff, yeah, that's interfering with it. So it's kick ass. So, uh, yeah, this will wake you up. Let me know. Let me know your comments and talk to me later. Bye bye.